Hello everyone, it's Farkid here. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the change that happened in Sons of the Forest with Major Update 4, where it removed all the GPS locations from the start of the game. You now need to go and find them. And I've gone through the house level finding them all, and I'm gonna show them to you. Now there is some minor spoilers here, but I've cut most of the major ones out. I'm gonna save my thoughts about the new system at the end of the video. Now you need to do this in a progression, and you have to start with either the rebreather cave or the rope gun cave. Just pick one. I'm gonna start it with the rebreather cave. Now here it is located on the map. This is actually right next to the beach start location. Pretty much as soon as you go into the cave, there's a laptop sitting there, and that will activate the first GPS location. But this one isn't relevant till later on. So it's quite confusing, but you need to progress through the cave and get the rebreather. I'm doing all of this without enemies on, but trust me, there's a lot of enemies in these caves. Once you get the rebreather, the next step is to go and get the rope gun. The rope gun is located here on the map. It's in a cave. There is a way to cheese it, but they'll probably remove it soon. If not already with this latest update, I don't think it was mentioned. The rope gun cave doesn't require the rebreather, hence why you can do this one first if you want. The rope gun cave is right next to the forest or tree star location. Now this is quite a difficult cave as well. Once you've got the rope gun, you need to exit out of the cave and proceed to the shovel cave. Now these caves are in order, cave A for rebreather, cave B for the rope gun and cave C for the shovel. Now the reason you needed the rebreather and the rope gun is to get the shovel. It's a requirement to bypass the first section unless you can glitch it, which I tried and I don't think you can do it. There's an invisible wall there that unlocks once you pass over it with the rope gun for the first time. Once you go over it for the first time, then you can jump over and back through it. About halfway through the shovel cave, you'll find a red laptop on the ground. This will give you your next location. And the location this one gives is Bunker A, which you will need the shovel to get. So what you want to do is progress through the rest of the cave and get the shovel. Remember, like I said, there's no enemies in this recording, but there's a twin sitting on top of the shovel when you first proceed to there. So be careful. Once you've finished here, you want to go to Maintenance Bunker A. It's marked on the map here. You'll need to dig down for this one. That's why you needed the shovel. Once you proceed down there, you'll get the maintenance key card. And in the same room, there is a laptop with the next GPS location, which is Bunker Food. That's where you're going to head to next. You can get the firefighter axe in here. Also, Bunker Food is located on the map here. Now, this one's just a cave. You can spot two golf buggies out the front of it before you head in, but you got the GPS location for it, so it's all good. This is where you're going to need the maintenance key card to open the door to get into the place. There's also the crossbow in this bunker if you want it, and a lot of ammo too. So you might come back to this bunker a lot if you like the crossbow. Once you proceed towards the end, you'll find a room and in that room is a laptop that will give you the bunker residential GPS location and it will give you the VIP key card, which has got Virginia's face on it. There's another section you can enter and it's like a dining room. This is a location of a mini boss fight and you actually don't really need to do it. You can skip it if you want, but you're gonna have to backtrack the way you came. There's no essential items in here. A couple of story items and Virginia's dress, which isn't actually a dress. It's a play suit or a jumpsuit. Little things that annoy me. And this fight is hard, so you want to be prepared for it. After you've finished here, you want to head to Bunker Entertainment. It's located on the map here. Now, there's a 3D printer and stuff down here initially, which you can use, and a whole bunch of items, which I do recommend you pick up. But you'll get to a section that has a keypad, and this is where you're going to use a maintenance key card. Now, Bunker Entertainment, that location you would have got from when you got the rebreather. That's why I told you you need to wait till a little bit later on. This is what's confusing about it. But you proceed through this cave, there's a few enemies in it, but nothing major. And at the end section, there's like a bar area, and there's a guitar in there and a whole bunch of items. But down the end, there is a key card on the table, and that is the guest key card. If you proceed around the corner, there's this little room. You want to use that same key card to open this door. And inside, there's a bunch of items, a few story items, but there's a laptop with another GPS location on it, and that will give you Bunker B location. Now, Bunker B isn't essential, so I'm gonna cover it later on, it's not part of the story, but it will give you the GPS location of Bunker C. So once you leave here, you wanna to go to Bunker Residential. It's down the bottom right of the map. This one's a bit of a hike, this one. This is where you're gonna need that guest key card. You cannot use a VIP key card, even though it's got a high clearance. It doesn't really make sense, but in terms of a game, I guess it kind of does. Once you proceed through here, you'll go through a cutscene, which I'm going to cut out because it's not relevant and it's got a bit of spoilers. After you proceed through most of the bunker, you'll find two rooms. And the first one is on the right, which will give you the next GPS location. And that is to Bunker Luxury. After you've got that, head around the corner. Also note that the katana is also in this bunker, if you want that. And there's a whole bunch of items in the bunker as well. But once you get around the corner, you'll see a man banging on the door. What you want to do is unlock the door for him, because you're a nice person. 
I'm sure you're a nice person, aren't you? Deep down, somewhere in there. I like to think I am. Anyway, now technically you can proceed to the luxury bunker, but you will need the golden armor if you want to finish the game. I'm not going to cover the golden armor in this video. I'll put a link in this one for a guide through the cave that has the golden armor because that cave is a nightmare. It's very easy to get lost in it. It also has the night vision goggles in it too though. But if you decide to head to the luxury bunker, it's located here on the map. There's no other GPS locators here. It changed not long ago that you needed to do this to open the door. Before it was using a key card. And there's a whole bunch of items in here, no enemies, surprisingly and the door for the end game, which you will need the golden armor for. But if you want to do that, follow the link to the other video. I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible. However, if you don't want to do that and you want to head to the next bunker, which is bunker B, second last one, it's located here on the map. Now you will need to dig to get down in here, but in here there is the bunker C GPS location. And there's also the compound bow if you want it, which you might as well get. It's pretty tricky to use though. Now bunker B is in a tribal village, so expect a fight while you're trying to dig it up and it might not be too easy. This doesn't have anything to do with the story, but once you open up Bunker C, that is the last GPS location you can unlock currently in the game. Once you leave here, it's up to you what you do because you've got the last location unlocked. You could visit it at a later time. Now Bunker C is located here on the map. It's in the golf course. You will need the shovel to dig down to it. You've already got that, don't you? Pretty sure you do. Inside is an incomplete bunker, though obviously still constructing it, but you can get the revolver down here. And there's a whole bunch of light bulbs and other things. There's actually not much down here. I think they will add more bunkers later on, but currently this is all there is. Anyway, that's it. As for my thoughts on this new system, I think it is a good idea. They probably should have added it before the game was released, but obviously they didn't have it ready. They did a Q&A and said they weren't happy with the system, having everything revealed to the player, because players would often just rush through and treat the game very linear, as in this is what you're supposed to do. Now players have to go to designated spots to unlock these locations, which I think is a lot better. It's going to piss a lot of players off, I think, because everything was originally unlocked at the start of the game, and now it's being taken away. This usually doesn't go down too well, but I'm being very logical about the situation, and it just means you've got to go through a few more steps. But way I see it, it's also going to save people a lot of time, because before every location was unlocked, so you would just go to every random location and find out you might not be able to progress through it. For example, if you went to the shovel cave location, you can't even get past the entrance without the rope gun or the rebreather. So I think it's going to make the game probably less confusing just so you know all the cave locations are still marked on the map it's just the bunkers and such that are now gone the starting sequence shows the map and the gps locations have been removed harvey from the wiki he sent me this as a comparison before and after i'm going to spend the rest of the day finishing the major update video but honestly it's not that major it was mostly filled with bug fixes but this one's a huge change that's going to affect everyone. I haven't checked if you get into the game, are those GPS locators gone now? So you're going to have to go find them. I'm not sure. Most likely, I'm thinking. But we'll see. It'll give me something to do in my next playthrough video. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.